Okay, there's a program change. Spam on fire. I'm going slower for the rest. Spam on fire. I must wait to use that ability. It is not ready yet. Spam on fire. Nothing else up here. I don't have enough spirit. I must wait to use that ability. Okay, let's go. Battlefields. It is not ready yet. Uh dead. Oops. That ability is not yet my injury that needs to heal. Pay attention, Shane. It cannot be done. Shit, <laughs> death. Uh, right. So, lashes, not my friends. Another yellow, or another late, I should say. Out of their chains. Fire. Spam. Whoa. Globes there. It is not ready yet. I need spirit. That ability is not yet recharged. Okay. Let's move along, yellow. I must wait. Gotta get some more trash and maybe another yellow here to go with you. Where are you? Back here. That ability is not yet recharged. I must wait to use that ability. It is not ready yet. Fire. I couldn't reach. Shivers nearly died or propped at least. Well, yeah, that helps. Okay, 
Okay. Come on, guys. That ability is not yet recharged. It is not ready yet. Do not strike through me. I must wait to use that ability. It is not ready yet. Oh, please. We got time to have another light. Reckon me. I will not I'd take that shield, hey. Come wreck me, guys. I dare ya. Little bit of shield left. Not enough spirit. I must wait to use that. Shield's gone. That ability is not yet recharged. Try and get some trash down here. It's good trash. She did death there. Okay, let's go. That was a good pile on. Oh, Condi. Okay. Take it. Not much she is candy on. I don't have enough spirit. Okay, go. A little bit of candy. As much as I can with it. Oh, I don't have sweeping wind. That's not good. It is not ready yet. 
let my sweeping wind go. So easy to do on Condi. He's just trying to run. Okay, keep moving. Too bad there wasn't a late with that Condi. Much better places for a condi than that. It is not ready yet. Oh, she has a death. That ability not yet oh, there's some blues. Fighting these guys. I doubt I can get another pylon since that condi was so late. That ability is not yet recharged. My injury Ooh, they're pretty low now. Nice, Oki. Okay, here we got. Ooh, he looks tough. Oh, yeah, I forget. Oh, I just got the sweeping wind in. Nice. I want him just attacking my uh, Templar. Relying on my um, Stricken here now. Ooh. Um, fire. Oh, shit, he jumped. Jumped on fire, damn it. Templar, in at him, please. It is not ready yet. I don't have enough spirit. Fire. <sighs> Jumping on fire again. I don't know. The bright side, I guess I'm still stacking stricken. Oh, 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 he stunned me. I must wait to use that ability. Nice. Got him, even though he's jumping through fire that time. It is not ready yet. Fire. That ability is not yet. Templar, go after him, please. It's your job. Don't forget about it. We've got a minute left. We're going into fire here. It is not ready yet. Okay. Should get a couple more fires. If needed. Shouldn't really need much more than this next one. Nice. Rank 27. Highest rank I've ever been on a solo monk. Sweet. Okay, that was a 109 clear on my solo monk for season 15. Just uh, taking it in here. Um, just level a gem quickly. Or not if she doesn't like me. Ah, oh, there we go. One out of three. Okay, I'll do a quick build check. This is a fire-based Sunwuku's Wave of Light Monk. Um, wearing five pieces of Sunwuku's with Ring of Royal Grandeur in the cube. Those five pieces are shoulders, dex, fit, uh, area damage and cooldown. Very well rolled. Anything ancient here you'll see is augmented with either a 129 or 130 dexterity gem. So decent augments on there. Very late in season 15. Gloves here. 
dex, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, cooldown reduction, right rolls, just the crit chance is slightly lower than I would like. Sunwuku's chest armor there, dexterity, vitality, percent life is fine, physical resist and ranged attacks there on the secondaries to help with some protection there. Um, often people would want a elite damage reduction on that one. Um, legs here, dex, fit, armor and a secondary resist is fine uh, for the chest and the final piece of Sunwuku's that I'm wearing is the amulet. You can see here this is one of my non-ancient pieces got the right rolls uh, with fire skill damage crit hit damage and crit hit chance just the crit rolls are on the low side unfortunately okay supporting legendaries so Crin's gaze this is really important for this build you've got an increased wave of light damage roll on that and you also want crit hit damage dexterity and vitality which that one has so it is rolled reasonably well ah uh, witching hour Dexterity, Vitality, Attack Speed, Crit Hit Damage, so that's great. My Attack Speed's a bit low on that one. Um, boots, the crudest boots is what you want. So Dexterity, Vitality, Wave of Light Damage you want in there. The other roll, you'd want either an All Resistance roll on that or maybe an Armor roll or something with a Secondary Resistance. I don't have either, so they're not the greatest boots, but that's what I've got. I'm running a Regen roll because that's what I found. Uh, braces. Right rolls, a little bit low in some cases, so uh, Pinto's Pride, you've got your orange stat there, which is pretty important, because it's got that wave of light increased damage, but fire skill damage decks fit, crit hit chance on those. Uh, jewelry, okay, Unity, this is a very, very good Unity there with a damage roll crit hit chance and increased damage against elites. To make this work, my follower is also wearing a Unity to increase my survivability um, convention of elements you can see here the rolls are quite good although it's one of my non-ancient pieces so damage roll crit hit, damage crit hit chance on that one uh weapons vengeful wind so vengeful wind you really need that orange stat to be at seven because your sun weekly set is buffing your damage per stack of sweeping winds you have so you really want to increase that maximum stat count on that Apart from that, Dexterity, Area Damage, and Cooldown are good rolls to have on that Vengeful Wind. Um, Kayashiro's Blade, again, you pretty much want very similar to what you want on the Vengeful Wind. So you want your orange stat as high as possible. Um, it goes up to 250. Again, it's a damage buff to your Wave of Light when it hits three or fewer enemies. So when you, you saw me running the Rift, you see me basically aiming for free space with that initial impact i want the explosion to hit the enemies not really the initial impact to get that damage boost from my kaya Shiro's blade um stats you want on that is dexterity cooldown and area damage once again i have an attack speed because i haven't been able to get one which is dexterity cooldown and area damage okay uh legendary gems running stricken here primarily for that boss kill which you just saw the fire damage really builds up in those later cycles which is fantastic um say stone of vengeance so this is a range damage boost and this is a range build so you want that to increase your damage the further away you are from what's being hit the better um but obviously you need to be able to target and the like as well and Bane of the Trap damage boost for anything under control impairing effects. So want that damage boost there as well. Normal gems running cooldown in the helm. Cooldown is important to reset your mystic allies, which is going to be your spirit boost. So that's why you want that. Um, running all resist in the armor pieces for survivability and crit hit damage in the weapons. I don't have a build guide for this build. Um, so I will, oh, I'll quickly show you the cube. Cube, incense, torch of the grand temple, wave of light, damage boost and reducing the cost of wave of light. Um, syndicate, reducing cost of fire skills and we are running fire on wave of light. So again, reducing the cost of that wave of light and ring of royal grandeur to boost my five piece up to a six piece bonus on my Sawuki set. Okay, skill screen. Quick look, I'm just going to say what I'm running. 
Epiphany, Desert Shroud, Sweeping Wind in a Storm, Wave of Light, Explosive Light, Mystic Ally, Air Ally, Dashing Strike, Blinding Speed, Mantra of Salvation, of Agility. Passives, I'm running. There are some other variations of this, but this is what I run. CC Initiative, Beacon of Atar, Near Death Experience, and the Guardian's Path. Okay. Oh, quickly show Paragon in town <laughs> and then show the clothes. So, Paragon. Okay. So, I've got all points, obviously, in Utility, Defense, and Offense. In core, I'm running full spirit and movement speed, a couple hundred points into vitality, and then the rest. Let's add a point in dexterity. Okay, showing the close here. Well done, 109 clear for season 15 on my monk Sunwiku's Wave of Light. Thanks very much for watching, and GG!